What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be drilling a brand new Storm Proton Physics and a brand new 900 Global Zen with a hand drill. Uh, to start this off, I'm not just some random guy doing this. I used to work in a pro shop for about five years. Um, I've drilled plenty of my own balls and some others. I'm mostly just doing this because I'm bored and I wanna see how this turns out. Uh, I do not recommend doing this. Please go see your local pro shop for proper fitment. Uh, with all that being said, let's drill some balls. I'm going to be starting with the Zen, and the first step is to find out what kind of layout I want to put on it. So I'm going to go with like a pin-up layout, uh, probably right above the bridge. I bought this little span gauge on eBay for like 20 bucks, so let's see how this works. Go something like this, have that kicked out a little bit. That's a rough drawing of my layout. So what I'm doing now is, this thing actually has a little span gauge where you can measure from cut to cut. You stick this in the thumb hole and it'll accurately measure you, uh, your span of a already drilled bowling ball. So my span from cut to cut to my middle finger is four and a quarter, according to this gauge. And for my ring finger, it is four and three eighths. So, all right, so we're just gonna measure four and a quarter from where the, the cut on my middle finger would be. That puts me about there for my thumb. That's roughly where my holes are gonna be. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna drill the thumb hole first, and then after I drill that, I'm gonna remeasure with this part to make sure I'm still on line. And if everything's good, we'll proceed. If not, we'll just redraw these lines up top. So now for the moment of truth, we're drilling the first hole. So I have zero lateral pitch, and I have a little bit of reverse. So I want to drill the hole going this way, just a touch, and no directional left to right. If you'll recall, my span was four and a quarter for my middle and four and three eighths for the ring. Boom, four and a quarter. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll try to zoom in on the video. And boom, four and three eighths. So we're all set up. You can change drill bit size for finger grips. And two more holes to go. Check this out. As you can see, the cuts line up perfectly on the lines. This is precision that you won't see in your local pro shop. <clears throat>
time to go. So this is actually perfect. That's four and a quarter, cut to cut. This is better than a lot of pro shops. I can't speak for how good the pitches are because obviously I can't exactly gauge the pitches going down into it with a hand drill. But as far as my accuracy, good stuff. On the money, right here. As you can see, my drill is starting to die. Uh, this thing's not made for cutting bowling balls, I guess, but we'll see if I can finish it. Oh man, I need to charge this actually. Uh, might be pretty close to being done actually. Oh, never mind, we're good. We are good. Lasted just long enough to drill a bowling ball. My span is absolutely perfect. Four and a quarter, four and three eighths. Couldn't get better than that. Just need to work out my thumb. So I have a very oval thumb. Um, it's pretty small this way, but very large this way because I've been bowling so much. I developed so much calluses on this. So I have to uh, work out this side of the thumb hole for my thumb to fit. As you can see right now, this does not fit at all, but if I just work out this side, it'll go in. So normally with a drill press, you would just uh, move the bowling ball this way and you would drill straight down again. It would oval it perfectly, but obviously it's kind of hard to do it with this. So I bought this Ebonite Powerhouse Rasp tool for like 20 bucks online. Just work it out by hand until it feels good. This is sanding screen to make some micro adjustments and to fine tune everything and to smooth out the entire hole. All right, some pros, oh, um, some pro shops don't do this, but you need to bevel your finger holes. Um, if you don't bevel it and you have sharp holes, you're more likely to have crack or chip finger holes after a few uh, time throwing the ball down the lane. So you need to make these edges nice and smooth. Obviously for the pros, you know, they're drilling a new ball every three games. I think for them, they don't really care as much. Um, they get free balls, but if you're a regular league bowler paying 200 bucks a ball, you want it to last a full league season, bevel these. So all that's left now is to glue in the grips. And we are done. Honestly, this feels pretty good. But now that I'm done, 
One thing I do notice is that I do have a little bit of pitch in my thumb hole going this direction. Uh, it's hard to see, but if you're looking straight down in the hole, you can see more of the hole on this side and less on this side. That's an indicator that I do have some left pitch. But other than that, it uh, doesn't feel too bad. And that's how you drill a ball with a hand drill. So I wrapped up the Proton off camera uh, with like a kind of stack layout for this one. I've never drilled a ball this way before. And I'm kind of curious to see how it works. I'm expecting it to be a smoother, earlier reaction. Uh, we'll see. Very excited to throw these. This one feels pretty good in my hand as well. And I actually have another proton here that I'm going to try. Probably a pin down layout, something like this. I'm not sure. We're going to see how that rolls first. If I like that, I might go pin up on this one. Uh, we'll see. And yeah. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll be throwing those bad boys. And yeah, peace.